All right, let's move to some futures here. So, again, one game on the slate, if you've heard that before. Uh, Austin Matthews, <laughs> minus 330 to win the Hart Trophy. And is there anything that could possibly happen here where he actually, like, doesn't win it? I see McDavid, plus 350. But he would also need, like, 10 goals over the last nine games or something mind-bottling like that. Yeah. You know what? But the value is on McDavid, though, at the, at the current prices. I mean, Matthews has become the prohibitive favorite because of the string uh, performances that he's put together for the last 50 games. And he's kind of created that distance as a, as a strong two-way player, not only the best shooter in hockey, but really a 200-foot game like almost nobody else. And, uh, and he's really carrying this club on his back right now in a string of really impressive victories against the opposition that he's faced. And uh, he's in a tougher division than McDavid, and yet he's outscored him uh, in terms of the goal scoring by a mile. And uh, even at even strength, he's outscored McDavid all season long. So those are factors that give him the edge in my mind, and it's a substantial one. I don't know that there's anything that McDavid can do to close that gap. I mean, look at the quality of the divisions they play in. Uh, the Leafs are in the toughest division in hockey, and you can make the case that McDavid's in the weakest one, too.